Today we are going to show you how to use printer script in Canvas to add pauses ahead of time and how to change filaments to use more than four colors in a print. Let's import our models and then scale them up to be a little bigger and we'll just move the hat on top of the crewmate's head. Let's begin painting the model. Each of these four color swatches in the toolbox corresponds to the four filament inputs on palettes from left to right. Once we know which drive we would like to swap out for another color, we can paint the model to cover the regions that will be the first color and the regions that we want the second color to appear. In this case, we will be swapping out drive number two, so we're going to paint this backpack region and the body of the top hat the same color. We'll open the project settings and just make a couple of changes. For this project, we will add an extra perimeter to help hide any surface artifacts from painting, make the layer height 0.3 millimeters to help with the tower size, increase the infill, make the extrusion width 0.4 millimeters so it won't over extrude, increase the temperature to help with the flow, and add custom supports. To help make the supports break away a bit easier, I'm going to make the vertical and horizontal gaps 0.25 millimeters and paint the supports just on the underside of the hat. I'm also going to lower the transition length. Save these settings and we'll return to slice. We're using M0 in the G code to pause unconditionally. This gives us an opportunity to change filaments on palettes without having to watch the printer. When changing filament, the pause should be entered before the new color is expected to be visible. The new filament will be spliced next time that drive is used and will have to travel through palette's outgoing tube before it's seen on the part. Ideally, there may be some areas of infill where the new color can be printed first before it's visible on the exterior of the print. Timing filament changes can be easier with the short tube used on pallet because the filament won't have to travel as far to reach the nozzle. In this example, the backpack is completed around layer 130 and the top hat is where we want the color change to occur, which is layer 163. We will enter the pause at layer 130 to swap our red filament for a different color. Between where the red ends and where we expect the new color to occur is about 33 layers, which should be more than enough printing to get the new filament to the nozzle. Let's move on to customizing our sequences. We're going to edit our printer profile and head to the sequences page. To enter a pause, we're going to enter a conditional statement into our layer change. We want a pause when a certain layer number is reached. To do this, we enter an if statement like this. If layer is 130, pause unconditionally. We place quotes around the G-code command that will be outputted in the file. You can add an OR operator after the first condition to add another pause if you would like. For now, we will keep this as is. Save and return to the project to reslice. After slicing, let's download the file to see where our pauses are. Let's search for M0 to see if it's there for the layers we need the pause. Here we can see the M0 command for the correct layer. Let's start the print. The pause occurred at the right layer and gave us time to swap out one of the spools. To do this on palette, go to the menu and change filament. This will unload the existing input drive and prompt us to insert the new filament. After doing this change, the print will continue. This is one way to take advantage of printer script in Canvas and the change filament function on palette to increase the number of colors used on your prints. Give it a try and share what you make. Thanks for watching.